Hello, Assalamualaikum and good morning guys on YouTube Okay, today I have one project uh, I want to make one uh, Live PO4 wall battery pack uh, I want to do for portable if I go to outstation if, you, if I not go outstation I just hook on the wall Keep the solar charge my battery Okay, my friend is box from China I order the uh, the battery pack uh, 32650 Life PO4 uh, 3C 5000 mAh I bought uh, 64 pieces so I plan I want to do the uh, 24 or 48 volt 1 kilowatt hour battery pack so it's a multi uh, bind post multi terminal you can use uh, 12 volt at uh, 24 or 48 so I need build a two section battery uh, 24 and 24 so I need uh, put the two BMS so I order two BMS 100 M each 100 100 why 100 amps because i want do i want use a high search equipment for my portable battery pack two bms monitoring uh, for battery status so from china and this is a bind post dc so i will do the two terminal 24 24 and wow this is nice granite oh no no not granite <laughs> this is a uh, live po4 battery with bolt and nut 5000 milliamp hour 3c capacity okay i have uh, 64 pieces here so I plan his here look my drawing each cell I parallel four so one cell has a uh, maximum drain is 3c so I parallel four I got the 12c okay, this one section is a 24 volt 20, 24 volt has a own BMS 100 amps so uh the first bind post is 24 volt and the se next section is same is here so if i want to use a 48 volt i just look the positive and negative i got the 48 volt so if i want uh use a 24 i just a parallel positive positive negative negative so i will got the 24 volt 40 m hour equal to 100 watt hour eh, one, 1000 watt hour okay clear so the meter is function i tap negative here and positive here if not parallel the meet the meter not turn on if series 48 meter will turn on if parallel 24 meter will turn on if nothing meter is nothing Okay, let's check the cells. This came from China. The long shipping because COVID nineteen. The uh, my uh, my my stuff stuck uh, over two months or three months in Singapore. Okay, let's check the cells. Okay, look good. Three point two per cell. Hope. Not damage the cell 3.3 okay At the random i i think uh, the cell is okay lah. okay we all know uh the life po4 battery cell is safe battery has been made will not explode if, if overheat or short circuit but i will choose the very very safe enclosure here fire retardant enclosure 
made in Malaysia GEB look nice okay the battery I will put inside and the display is here the bind post is here for DC I will hook if one charge with solar I will take out when I want to uh, go out or camping or troubleshoot jobs or what also ever lah okay uh, this enclosure has uh, fire retardant material paint so if I put the lithium battery inside the safety rating going to 5 star <laughs> The paint is fire retardant class because this is for MCCB uh, MCCB enclosure distribution box. Okay, very nice and beautiful, very quality product from Malaysia. And now the, what the bus bar? The bus bar I already fabricate. I already fabricate with the aluminium. Each four cell, four, four, four. Okay, for the first step, I will need to design the mud sticker first before I the drill the hole and need to cover this hole. So I need design the sticker first. Okay, let's do. Okay, for the first step, I design the mask sticker. Okay, the Edward uh, mask sticker I print on the PVC gloss paper. The printing job and the uh, cutting sticker is done. It's here. The material is PVC. Look nice, right? Okay, so I put here. The sticker will cover the hole. Nice. So on the back sticker is here for bind post. The bind post one is uh, 24 and bind post two for 24. And 48 is parallel. The bind post put here. Okay, look nice, right? <laughs> Okay, we start the make the hole for battery status meter. Okay, after done the drilling work, the drilling hole here and two uh, and four hole here for pine post. So now the time I put the sticker. Okay, match it properly, make sure it's balanced. All the bind post. Install the capacity meter. nice okay now we start the cell assemble it's very easy use this type cell because uh, has own bolt and nut and uh, m4 size bolt and nut put the bus bar and connect the uh, cell okay just like this it's very easy no need spot well no need battery holder or no need a uh, nickel strip just plug and play okay finish up assemble a uh, 12 volt cell so i need build four like this 
Okay, let's check the voltage. Three point two, twelve point nine, good. All right, finally I finished uh, assemble the two TNT bomb, <laughs> or not TNT bomb. This is a battery pack for, for twelve volt, uh, twenty four, with BMS, and I connect all connection. For 24 volt and this is the output for to bind post and the positive is uh, below okay now try to fit the enclosure Woo -hoo. all right Alright guys, uh, bind post DC installation has been complete. <coughs> Look, okay, 24 and 24. I've had two channel battery pack. So if I want to 48 volt, I just the series and loop positive and negative. I got the 48. If I want to use 24, I just parallel negative positive. Okay. This cable for uh, voltage meter monitoring from the panel and put the sponge okay, and finally attach the monitoring meter to the panel. Wow, nice! Nice, like the whole wall. On screw, okay. Complete my portable black PO4 wall has been complete. Okay, the status battery meter is not turned on because. The DC bind post not connected each other. So how to turn on the monitor meter? Okay, if I want use uh, 24 volt, I just parallel negative to negative, and another one positive to positive. This will turn on the monitor meter. Look. <laughs> the monitor meter 29 uh, 25.3. Uh, okay, if I want use 48 volt, I just I just series Look. Fifty two point eight hundred percent percentage batteries. Now my project is completed. Okay, let's uh, test scale how many load my like PO4 wall battery pack. Only 13.5 kilos, not bad. Still consider lightweight for me. Eh? <laughs> now I want try and charge this. Uh, DIY life PO4 wall. Hang on. Have a nice day, battery. <laughs> okay, now the battery I fully charged by solar. Now 
three volts. Okay, now I link to forty eight volt because the left side, uh, the right, uh, the left side is uh, three kilowatt forty eight volt DIY low frequency inverter with built in solar charge controller MPPT. But now I disconnect the solar panel or try uh, the maximum capable my DIY left PO4 wall only 1 kilowatt uh, 1 kilowatt hour but the C rating is 12 uh, based on my calculation the 12 C capable run this the MMA welder machine <laughs> okay the, the current you used to well I set the ATMs the stick well 2.6 millimeter okay, I will try run the welder hope it's working good turn on now the system is turned on so I want to try run the welding first the maximum full capable my 12C battery pack see the result DIY handcraft 48 volt 20AH 12C light PO4 cell very very shocking to me very wonderful and I'm very very happy because of lightweight easy carry to everywhere I can run anywhere MMA welder with uh, 2.5 mil uh, 2.6 millimeter stick road 90 amps current so I'm very happy with that And one stick well, good. The glow light larva. <laughs> the battery voltage still mean fifty two point four. Amazing, powerful battery pack. Okay, now I put back on wall, keep charged by solar, here, keep charge, keep full charge every day, if I want go outing, I will dismantle and bring out for outdoor activity, okay, thank you very much for watching my video DIY how to make this portable light PO4 wall. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.